Riff Rundown. My name is Angela Petrilli. I am here with my friends at Fishman. We are live streaming today. I have been out of town for a couple weeks. I have been doing some touring and playing some shows and really happy to be with all of you today. So we are going to be learning the iconic, the awesome uh, Cashmere by Led Zeppelin from Physical Graffiti. Such a great tune. So when we want to learn this tune, we're going to want to get our guitars in a certain kind of tuning. So we're going to be in dad gad tuning for today. So what that means is your E string, tune it down to D. Your A string and D string and G string, keep them as is. Your B string, tune it all the way down to A. And your E string, tune it all the way down to D. All right, so here's what it would sound like. D, A, D, G, A, and D. So that's dad gad. And that is the tuning cashmere is in. So I wanna make sure we're all there. Now, could you play this on acoustic? You could. I'm playing it on electric today. I am keeping it a little bit on the cleaner side. If you guys wanna see me play it with all of the effects and the phase and the overdrive and all that stuff, I do have uh, a video on my YouTube channel that you guys can check out. But for today's le lesson, just to keep things really clear and good, I'm gonna be playing this a little bit on the cleaner side. Touch of delay, of course, but never hurts, never hurts. So, dad gad tuning for today, electric or acoustic guitar, I'm playing it on electric today. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So as always, you guys know I like to ask a question. So let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite Led Zeppelin song. Mine is the Rain song, I wanna know yours. So put them in the comments, where you're tuning in from, what's your favorite Zeppelin tune? And uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is gonna be a fun one. Here's Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. be learning all of the parts today. I kind of did an abridged version, version there so you guys uh, can give it a listen. But yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a fun one. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? And we are live, live, live today. So if you guys have questions, Q&As, I am here to answer them. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and look at the top again. We are in dad gad tuning. To keep things nice and easy for everybody, I'm going to be calling the strings as if we were in standard, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with the intro. I'm gonna play it just a little bit slower than I did at the top. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do here, this is how I like to play this stretch for this first chord here, first finger and fourth finger. So first finger, go ahead and place that on the second fret of the G string. And then your fourth finger, fifth fret of the A string. So what's happening here, we're muting that, that D string, okay, from this 
part of our pinky finger, okay? So don't worry about, oh my gosh, I need to play that D string. You don't. We are just highlighting those two notes. Second fret of the G string, and then that fifth fret of the A string, okay? And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a down, up, down. Okay, so like a triplet, one, two, three. And we're gonna do that twice. And then from there, hit the low E string. So that will sound like this, nice and slowly. Do it with me, okay? And let me know how everybody's doing in the comments. I'm reading them right now, so let me know. Just like that, okay? Let's go ahead and do that again. Now, what I like to do here, I move the first finger up to the third fret of the G string and then I place my third finger on the fifth fret of the A string, okay? And it's gonna be the same thing here. Down, up, down, mute. Down, up, down, low E string. Without the commentary, sounds like this. So let's do that again. Nice and slowly here, can't learn anything. Can't play anything fast, can't play slow. Let's take our time, okay? So here we go. Let's combine it with part one. And again, we're covering a lot of ground here with this part. Now we're gonna do next, this first finger, we're gonna bring it up a half step fourth fret of the G string, and our second finger, fifth fret of the A string. And it's the same thing. Down, up, down, mute, down, up, down, low E string. That's gonna sound like this. And again, I'm keeping things, as far as the tone, I'm keeping them on the cleaner side so we can really hear what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and do that again. Combine all three parts, okay? Let's take our time. Here we go. One more time, a little faster. One more time, a little faster. Here we go. From there, okay, the last two. Keep your second finger where it is at the fifth fret of the A string. Third finger now goes to the fifth fret of the G string. That's gonna sound like this. And again, we're muting that D string. We don't need it, okay? Same strumming, down, up, down, mute, down, up, down, low E string. Again. Just like that. Let's combine it with the rest. Here we go. We'll do it a little bit faster. I think we're getting the hang of it. Let me know how everybody's doing in the comments, okay? part here, keep your first finger on the fifth fret of the A string and your pinky finger or your third finger, pinky finger feels a little bit better to me, um, on the seventh fret of the G string. And then you're going to slide it back three times only and that's the end of the, the end of the cycle, okay, with that intro riff. So what we're going to do here, nice and slowly, we're going to do the intro.
So for that intro, that section, that's gonna happen two times, okay? And we're gonna see it again in the song a little later, okay? So that's what's happening there. I'll play it through one more time here in its entirety, double time, okay? So here we go. That's what's happening there. Now, what we're gonna do here is now we're gonna go into verse one. So verse one sounds very similar, but there's just a little bit of difference, okay? So here's what verse one sounds like. So as we notice at the top of the intro, Remember this, this two, five one, right? Second fret of the G string and fifth fret of the A string. We did that twice at the top of the intro. However, in the verses, we're gonna take one of those away. So we're just gonna do that triplet once. One, two, three, duh. And then we get into climbing. play this a couple times here. So again, that verse, we're only playing one of those triplets. That's it. Okay, so here we go. Nice and slowly. This happens three times, so let's go ahead and do it three times. Here we go. First time. Second time. time. Now notice that last time I didn't go to. I hang on that a little longer. And then from there, I go into the iconic chorus. Now, I think we all know how this goes. I'm sure we can all hum it. The chorus sounds like this. Again, it seems, it, it, it sounds really beautiful and full. And we're, we're, we're keeping the same like pattern of, of, of chords, okay? That's kind of neat. So I'll show you how to do this. So what we've got here is we're gonna use these first three fingers, okay? And I'm gonna play that again nice and slowly and then I'll talk you through it. So again, first three fingers here. We're gonna get our second finger. I want you to place that on the 12th fret of the G string. Your third finger, I want you to place that on the 12th fret of the high E string, okay? I know we're in dad gad, we're gonna call the strings as if we were in standard, okay? So just like that. And you're gonna strum from the D string downward. It's a beautiful open chord, okay? We're gonna strum that one time. Then we're gonna lift that second finger out of the way. From there, we're gonna get our first finger placing that on the 11th fret of the G string. Just like that. 
cool stuff, right? So that's the first part. Beautiful chords, aren't they? We're gonna bring the shape back now to the 10th fret. So second finger, 10th fret of the G string, third finger, 10th fret of the high E string, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing. Strike it downward once. Again, really cool chord. First finger goes now to the ninth fret of the G string. Okay, just like that. Let's go ahead and do that again from the top. One more time. From there, we're gonna bring the shape back now to the seventh fret of the G string and high E string, respectively. Again, another cool sounding chord. Bring the first finger back now to the sixth fret of the G string. Good stuff, right? Let's put them all together. Nice and slowly. Can't play anything fast, we can't play slow. Let's take our time. And now just a scooch faster. And I like to do an up, down, up, down when I'm playing this phrase. Next part here, we're gonna to go to the fifth fret now of the D string or the G string and the high E string. First finger goes back now to the fourth fret of the G string. Just like that. Good stuff, right? Let's combine it now. Let's take our time. Again. Okay, final part here. We're going to bring this now to the third fret of the G string and the high E string. First finger goes back, second fret of the G string. And then we do a fun little riff. Pretty simple here. Go ahead and put your second finger on the third fret of the D string. First finger on the second fret of that D string and then release open D string. That's the whole chorus part. Let's go through it nice and slowly. faster. And now a little bit faster still. So those are the first three parts. We've got our intro, our first verse, and our chorus. Now, after that amazing chorus, okay, when we finish that, we're gonna play that chorus two times. And then we're gonna play this next, let's say kind of this abridged verse part, okay? We'll call it an interlude here. 
And that's gonna sound like this. We're gonna play this after the chorus one time, okay? So that's gonna sound like this. So this we know, we've learned part of it right in that intro and that verse. But I'll run through it again really quickly here. So we've got our first finger on the third fret of the G string, our second, or our, our first finger, yeah, second, third fret, the G string. Blah, there we go. Third finger, fifth fret of the A string. Okay, again, one, two, three. D string, or D, the low D note there. We do that once. Then we go, four and five, fourth fret of the G string, fifth fret of the E string, those two triplets. Then we go to the fifth fret. We slide that back, we go into verse two. So to give you context, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna play through the intro, I'm gonna play through a verse, I'm gonna play through a chorus, and that interlude section there, okay? And then from there, that would go to a second verse, okay? So here's the whole song so far, all right? And again, if you guys are enjoying these lessons, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It absolutely helps the cause. That clicking the thumbs up really helps with the algorithm too and gets this lesson out there and, and all that good stuff. And again, I just wanna help people learn how to play guitar. So clicking that like button really helps the algorithm in getting this to other musicians who really wanna learn how to play. So I'd really appreciate it if you did that. And um, I'll go through this and then I'll take a couple questions live. And again, thank you all for, for being here. This is so lovely. And again, I love how uplifting you all are to each other in the comments. I love this community we've built. Thank you all for being so awesome, okay? Really appreciate that. So thank you all so much. Okay, so here we go. Intro. So that then leads us into verse two, all right? So verse two, exactly the same as verse one, but there's one little thing that we're gonna add, and we're gonna add that little, right, that little string line. We're gonna throw that in there. So I'm gonna show you how to play this first, and then I'll throw it into the riff so you can see how it, how it works, okay? So here's the riff. <laughs> And here's how we're gonna play it. So get your second finger on the second fret of the G string. From there, first finger of the G string, hammer on right back to that second fret of the G string. Just like that. Hammer ons and pull offs, it's good stuff. Okay. Now, I like to slide that note up, the second fret of the G string, to the fourth fret. And notice how I'm not picking it. I'm giving it enough, right, enough gumption there to really get all those tones nice and clear. Okay. 
So that's our first half. And notice, not picking it. Just the one time. One more time. From there, we're gonna go to the second fret of the G string. To the first fret, hammer onto the second. Resolving the phrase fourth fret D string with your third finger, okay? So that's gonna sound like this nice and slow. And again, yes, we are in dad gad tuning today. Just like that, let's do that again. Last time. Okay, so just like that. Now, when we go into this second verse, here's the riff when we incorporate it. Okay, so we've got this. And that's our intro. to verse two. I'll do it again from the top of the verse. If you want to let that riff, that ending note, ring for a little while, you can jump in and right here. After you play that riff, or if you just want to just get it right away, you can go back to the top. So I'll give you both options. It would sound like this. So that's where you get right back in, okay? If you want to let it ring, it would sound like this. So I'll leave it up to you and how you're feeling it, but man, it is so, so fun to play. This song's so, so fun to play. So that's what's happening there. That verse, again, is going to be repeated four times. Super fun to play. Super, super fun to play. So after verse two, we're going to go into a chorus two times. We go into an interlude once. Then we go into a chorus one time. Into this. which is such a rocking part of that song. It's so heavy and just groovy and just awesome. Oh, okay. So let me show you how to do that. So again, after verse two, you have a chorus twice, that interlude once, and then the chorus one time into, I'm gonna call it like part three, right? The heavy, the heavy riff. So what we're gonna do here is it sounds like this. From the, okay, that last part of the chorus. Let 
me show you how to play that part. So third fret of the D string to the second fret to open D string. To the open A string, first finger on the second fret of the A string, to the open D string. Let's do that nice and slowly here without the commentary. time. Can't play anything fast. We can't play slow. And one more time. Now we're going to do this heavy chord. And how we're going to do that, we're going to get our first finger on the second fret of the D string, that's gonna be an E note, and then you have that A. So it's a really heavy A power chord there. And you're gonna play it three times, just like that. Pretty cool stuff. From there, we're gonna get this first finger and we are going to slide it all the way to the 11th fret, yes, the 11th fret of the D string, you're gonna get your second finger now on the 12th fret of the A string. Just like that. So we have that A, and we have that C sharp. Beautiful thirds. And then we're gonna slide it back to that A5. So that sounds like this. Again. Again. Now, every other time, there's going to be a riff. And it's the riff we did at the top, okay? So. Riff, drum fill. Riff. Drum fill. Riff. You get the idea. So every other, we throw in the riff. So it's really good stuff. So from there, we've got that. Okay, so we go back and forth. We're playing that a while. Super fun. We're going to then go into a chorus two times. So I will abridge that, uh, that part three, right, the heavy part. I'll abridge it and then go into a chorus so you can get the gist. And again, I highly encourage you guys to listen to this song before you attempt to learn it. It's got a lot of parts and a lot of things to remember, okay? So here we go from the top. So I'll do a chorus to kind of sandwich it. I'll sandwich it between two choruses. And again, if you guys are enjoying these lessons, please subscribe to the channel. It helps the cause. And if you want to check out all the cool fishman gear that I use in these lessons, I left a link in the video description below. So I'd love it if you check that out too. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to do, well, I'll do two choruses. All right, into that heavy riff. Here we go. That's our chorus. We have another verse. Okay, we're playing that with the riff. Um, oh, geez. Okay, so we've got that happening. Okay, we're then gonna go into one chorus. Here we go. Now, into the next section. Breathe. Riff. OK. 
Okay, so that goes and goes. We do a chorus two times. Okay, now from there, after we do that chorus twice, we're gonna go into a beautiful bridge. Two chords, really easy. Again, when you have a phaser and all that good stuff, it really adds texture to this. So we do that chorus twice, and then we go into this, the bridge. Okay, in the tune, we've got just big, if we call them footballs or diamonds. Okay, big whole note, right? And here's how we play these chords. So we're gonna get our first finger here, and our fourth finger. That's what's comfortable for me. If you like your third finger a little bit better, it's fine, but fourth feels a little more comfortable. So get your first finger across all six strings of the fifth fret, just like this. Sounds like a lot of nothing right now, but don't worry, okay? You're gonna get your pinky finger placing that on the seventh fret of the G string. Now we're talking, okay? And then we slide that up whole step. So your first finger should be on the seventh fret of all six strings and pinky finger on the ninth fret of the G string. And I'll move these two fingers out of the way so you can see that chord a little bit better. And we're going to repeat this. So all I see tends to them. That's going to be that section. So that's what's happening there. It's pretty cool. So to give you context, uh, I'll do a little bit of the tune here. So here we go from the. Courses. Into the bridge. Let it ring. Go back and forth between these two chords. That's it. Two, three. And again, with phase and overdrive, this sounds like so awesome. And then we repeat and repeat and repeat that, all right? So then after that bridge, we go into a proper intro. once. From there, we go into a third verse. So that would sound like this. Okay. So that's what's happening there. We would have that verse three. After verse three, we do the chorus two times. Okay, then we go into that interlude, right? That kind of abridged verse or intro, if you want to think of it. We do that one time. This leads us right into verse four. Cool stuff, right? So that's what's happening there. So I figure since we are towards the end, we've got 20 minutes left, um, and I still got plenty to teach here. Um, let's take a couple of questions. I know this is, this is a tune that has a lot of stuff. So again, if you guys have gear or questions about gear and guitars and, and uh, the tune, I'm going to take a couple of these questions because you guys always have questions.
great questions. Always have great questions. And again, if you're enjoying these lessons, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It absolutely helps the cause. I'm gonna put this in the chat too. I released a new EP called The Voices. It's on vinyl and it's streaming. And I'll put a link if you'd like to purchase a vinyl. They're for sale. Links in the, links in the comment section. Okay, so let's see. We've got people from all over the world here. We got Ukraine. We have Utah, we've got Michigan. This is so great, Los Angeles. We've had a lot of rain in LA here. I don't know if you guys have heard on the radio. We've got Australia in the house. This is absolutely wonderful. Thank you all, thank you all. We got Germany here, Chicago. Oh, this is, this is awesome. We got Jeff saying, assume you'll be playing cashmere in Chicago at 314. Uh, with Zeparella, yes, I will be there. I have been subbing in for my dear friend, Gretchen men on a handful of Zeparella shows. So we'll, I'll be subbing in in Chicago and Minneapolis, Green Bay, Madison, Cape Cod, New Hampshire. Those are the seven, six, I think. So all the, the shows that I'll be subbing in for my dear friend Gretchen, they're, they're on my website. And um, if we're playing in a town near you, I'd absolutely love to see you. And be sure to say hi after the show. We're all really nice. We'd love to see you. We'd love to shake your hand and say hello. So, uh, so yes, we, and we will most definitely be playing these songs at the Zapparella shows for sure. It's probably one of my favorite ones to play on the set. It's a ton of fun, ton of fun. So if you guys have questions, oh, let's get to a couple of them. Can this be played on acoustic? Bill, great question. Yes, I actually have a version on the YouTube channel you could watch where I did this on acoustic. Um, it, it, it sounds really cool, but if you want all the cool effects and all of that stuff. If you'd like to play it on electric guitar, you can do that, but it sounds really lovely on acoustic too. So totally up to you. Um, let's see, Randy says the rain song is, is his favorite Zeppelin tune. That is also my favorite Led Zeppelin tune. Good stuff indeed, good stuff, good stuff. Um, all right. Oh, I'm so, so glad you guys are enjoying this. Good, good, good. That makes me really happy. Um, wondered if you took your Fender Reverb on stage with you as Zeparella. So what was really great, I did a show with them last week in Alaska and they, the, the venue had an amazing, amazing 68 twin reverb and I was a happy camper. It sounded so good. It sounded so good. So, uh, and it was really, really loud. It was great. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun indeed, a lot of fun indeed. So yeah, so check my website, andrewspachillimusic.com, where I'll be uh, subbing in for Gretchen Men and Zeparella at a couple of these shows. And if we are in a town near you, please come by a show. They're a lot of fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and, so we are at verse four for this tune. Again, you can see it's, there are a lot of parts, but a lot of the parts are very similar, okay? So I really encourage you when you're learning the song, Really go ahead and listen and like take notes and see, oh yeah, it does this and then it goes to this and then it goes to this. It really does help a lot. All right, so after verse four is finished, we're gonna go into a chorus that we will be repeating two times, all right? And again, it's gonna sound like this. interlude one time into a chorus two times And the bridge we know. Now with this one, feel free to strum it a little bit more. It's the second one. We're leaning towards the, in, the outro of this song at this point. So feel free if you want to, you know, really strum those. fill the space that way. Now there is another string part that happens here and it sounds like this and it's really fun to play. Okay, so if 
for this last bit of the lesson. I'm gonna show you how to play that. So we've got our second finger on the fifth fret of the E string. And then we have our third finger on the fifth fret of the D string. So we wanna, we wanna strike the E string, D string, and that open G string is okay too. But if we wanna keep it a little more crisp, I would say just focus on the E and D string. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got fifth fret of the E string and the D string. We're gonna slide that up a whole step. Okay, then we're gonna bring it up a half step, eighth fret, to the 10th fret, to the 12th fret. I'm gonna do that nice and slowly here. A little vibrato never hurt anybody. Okay, so let's do that again. and slowly here again keeping this nice and clean really really important for this part of the song so here we go again again we're doing octaves here this is kind of cool let's go ahead and do that again From there, this is gonna be the second part, okay? A little bit wider of a finger placement here, okay? Second finger, seventh fret of the A string, and then your third finger, seventh fret of the B string. So just like that. Still octaves, very cool, okay? So, first finger here, or second finger rather, seventh fret of the A string, third finger, seventh fret of the B string. this to the 8th fret, up a half step, to the 10th fret, okay, so let's just do those three for right now. Now keeping these clean and not getting the, I mean you could get those in too if you want to, sounds nice and full, let's do that. Pretty neat, isn't it? So we've got that. So we've got 7th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret of the A string and B string respectively. Having those D string and G string open as well. Okay, so just like that. Let's go ahead and combine it with the first part. part of the string line, okay, 12th fret to 14th to 16th. And if you get that low D in there, it's kind of cool. All right, so that's what's happening there. Let's go ahead and do that. Really beautiful. Let's do that again from the top. Now, just 
a little bit faster so you can hear it in context. And then it's cool, we could slide it back to the 10th fret too, give it a little vibrato. Again, it really gives that beautiful Moroccan feel. So stuff really cool stuff so just to give you context for the bridge uh, with those chords I'll go ahead and do that so this is that final bridge and you can choose to strum this or do the whole notes the strings. Here we go. out so you can choose if you wanted to maybe fool around with some of those notes and see what sounds really cool and interesting to you um, and the, yeah and then it fades out that is the tune it's a really really beautiful song to play I encourage you to really listen to it and to see how all the parts really come together a really beautiful story is being told um, with this song it's a ton of fun so I figure let's go ahead I'm gonna go through all of the parts abridged of course um, but I'll, I'll, I'll go through them again. And then if we have some time, I would love to take some more of your questions. It's been, it's been like a, a couple weeks since I've been live. So I'm sure there's a lot to, uh, a lot to catch up on. So if you guys have questions, put them in the comments as I, uh, when I finish this, I'll go through them. So, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So here's that intro one more time. our intro now our verse and with the verse I'm gonna go ahead and include the riff too we don't see the riff until verse 2 but I will uh, I'll throw that in here okay so here's like the verse Sometimes that interlude goes straight into a chorus. Sometimes it goes straight into a verse. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're listening to the song. All right, so from there, 
let's go ahead and pretend that that goes into a chorus. So here we go. Here's that interlude into a chorus. Chorus once. Okay, there's that really heavy riff part. Drum fill. Riff. Drum fill. Okay, so that goes back and forth, back and forth. Now let's go ahead and look at the bridge chords. bridge. Okay, so we let that go. Okay, so on and so forth, let that go. Intro, verse, another chorus, twice, okay? That really cool interlude, once into verse four, okay? So once into verse four, we have a chorus again, twice. then another chorus two times, then into that bridge, a little bit heavier, feel like you can strum it out. Okay, then from there, we include the string part into that bridge. a tune so I encourage you to listen to it it's it's quite a song it's like oh, about eight minutes um, but there's really really great stuff in it those are all the parts to really get you going so I encourage you take notes as you're listening to the song that part goes here this part goes here um, it's a really really fun one it's a really fun one and again yes I'm good I'm subbing in for my friend Gretchen Men she has not left Zeparella I'm subbing in for her because she has this amazing opportunity to play with the Utah Symphony on April 20th, 2024. So if you are in Utah, go and see her. This is a really, really special, special gig for Gretchen. So if you are in Utah, go and see her play. And as she is preparing for this gig, she asked me to sub in on a couple Zeparella show. So you can check my website to see when I will be subbing in for Gretchen on, on those shows. And it's been such a blast. We already played Alaska last weekend. It was really fun. So we have some Midwest shows and some East Coast shows. Again, just wanna thank my friend Gretchen Men, the awesome Gretchen Men for having me sub in and, and, and trust me with these, these beautiful, beautiful songs. It's been such a, such a joy learning these songs and uh, it's such a joy teaching all of you how to play it. So great question here with Jeff. He's asking what effects pedals do you use when you're playing cashmere live? So I use a bit of delay. I use phase and I use overdrive. So that's what I use in the live setting. It really gets all of the textures and all of that stuff. So that's what I do. I kept this lesson on the cleaner side so you all can really see those notes and how I'm articulating them. If you wanna watch me play it with all of the stuff, there is a short, if you just do Angela Petrilli um, Cashmere, you will see a short of me with my Les Paul playing it. So you can get an idea of what it sounds like with all those effects. So great question, thank you for that. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. This is such a fun one, such a fun one to play. Thank you all for your questions. This is great. Glad you guys enjoyed this lesson. Yay. That makes me so, so happy. Makes me so happy. All right. How far back can we watch these, these past lessons? Jim, go on YouTube. They're all there. So be sure, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. Angela Petrilli Music on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when I go live and when I have new lessons and videos and all that stuff. So it is, uh, it is, it is good stuff indeed. Uh, I will plug it again. I've got a new EP called The Voices. You can get it on vinyl. I left the link in the in the comments section. And I have a new EP, a new live EP coming out this Friday, 
it's me and the players live at Norm. So we, we pick three songs from the EP, and you can um, you can pre-order that on Bandcamp if you'd like. So you can visit my Bandcamp, and you can um, you can go ahead and pre-order that. We're really proud of it. It's cool. This the tunes sound a little bit different than they did on the album, but I think that's what's super fun as you. Uh, when you play live, you get to kind of change things around and make it sound really cool. So, so yeah, again, great questions, everybody. Really glad you enjoyed this lesson. And again, please be sure to subscribe. It really does help the cause. You want to check out all the cool Fishman gear that I use in these lessons. You can click the link in the video description below. Really want to thank my friends at Fishman for helping me do these lessons week after week. It's just, it's just such a, such a blast. And again, I really want to thank all of you. These riff rundowns would not happen if it wasn't for all of you tuning in and telling your friends. And again, we've got such a beautiful community here. Thank you all for being so kind to one another. It's just a really beautiful thing. So thank you all so, so very much. So, so much. And as always, wishing you so much success in your musical journeys. Play a lot of guitar. Tag me and Fishman in your videos. Let me know how you guys are doing on these songs. Not just this one, but all the, I've done over a hundred of these. So, so let us know. We want to see how you're doing. And um, again, it's just really, really wonderful. Thank you all so much. It is just such a gift to do this every week and, and really glad you, uh, really glad you guys are tuning in. I really appreciate it. So Let's spread the love. Let's play a lot of music, all that good stuff. And again, massive props to the mighty Led Zeppelin for, for, for writing this incredible tune that we all get to play and listen to and enjoy. So there it is, folks. There is Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. As always, wishing you so much success in your musical journeys. Everybody have a great weekend for us in the States. It's Super Bowl Sunday, so everybody have a great time and, and, and all that. All right, everybody. Take care.